Well, few people have lived a life more glamorous or more glittering than our next guest. From exclusive dinner parties in London to star-studded galas in New York, Dame Joan Collins is not only a legend of the screen and stage, but also the top of everyone's invite list. And now she's sharing all the juicy details from her glorious life in her new book, appropriately titled My Unapologetic Diary. I am Nelifa, Princess of Cyprus. For more than seven decades, Dame Joan Collins has been entertaining the world. So take this junk and your blonde tramp and get out of my home. Arguably her most iconic role, Alexis Colby in Dynasty. I am going to take away everything that Blake Carrington has ever worked for. I am going to drag him into a pit so deep that he's never going to get out. Married five times with three children, an author of 17 books and recipient of six Golden Globe nominations, Joan's real life has been even more captivating than any soap opera she starred in. <laughs> And now Joan is releasing her journals from 1989 to 2009 in her brand new book, My Unapologetic Diaries. It's intimate, witty and pulls no punches, just like its author. We are thrilled to say that Dame Joan Collins joins us now from London. Uh, Joan, thank you so, so much for joining us. This book covers your life from 1989 to 2009, and that includes the end of Dynasty. Uh, what do you, how do you, I, I guess, accumulate and crunch so many memories from such a wonderful and glorious life uh, into, uh, into such a short space of, uh, of literature? Where do you start? Well, um, I started actually the last day of Dynasty. I was standing in my tiny little dressing room, which was about the size of this table, and I had a little um, recorder in my hands that I'd been learning my lines on for the past nine years. And I thought, what am I going to do with this recorder now? And I thought, I know, I'll start talking into it and maybe I'll keep a diary. So I started talking and I said, yeah, here I am in Dynasty. This is where I dressed and did interviews and et for nine years. And now it's goodbye, Dynasty, and hello, London and the West End stage, and uh, which is where I was next going. And so the next part of the book, which is all recorded in real time on this tiny little machine, is when I was in the auditions, um, Private Lives, which I was doing in London, and then it goes on to trips to some trips to Australia, actually, I mentioned. But it, I only did it when I felt like it. Um, it wasn't every day, which is why it covers 89 to 2009. A lot of us uh, remember you so well as Alexis Colby with uh, that feisty character <laughs> and that amazing 80s wardrobe in Dynasty. What was it like playing that character? Well, I loved it. I loved her. I thought she was great. Um, she was trying to get revenge on her ex-husband, Blake Carrington, who um, was actually a murderer. He had murdered her son's lover. And that's when she came back onto the scene. I, I loved the fight scenes. I thought they were fun. And I loved her <laughs> very witty dialogue. And um, all in all, it was a, an amazing experience. And my God, people loved, uh, loved that series. And they certainly loved Alexis. Were, they, were those fight scenes as venomous as they're uh, appearing <laughs> to us uh, right now on screen? <laughs> Not so. Yes, I ended up in the hospital several times. I had a black eye. I had a, a dislocated jaw. No. <laughs> wow, I was going to say, no, you'd, you'd need some of those, um, that beautiful collection of liqueur over your right shoulder to deal with those injuries. Yeah, I can't believe, hang on, I can't believe you had a tiny dressing room with that wonderful wardrobe. That, there's yeah, something wrong with head. that. Oh no, uh, the universe I, couldn't be so cruel, could it, Nat? Have we lost the connection? Are you still with us? Yeah. Yes, we're, we're back in action. I'm, I'm still with you. Yeah, sorry. We were just... We're quiet. 
we were Can just building the suspense. Speaker? Sorry, Joan, we, we lost you for a very brief yes. moment there. If you've still got us, we'll push on. Yes, I wanted to ask magical you. It's magical that we're doing it, actually, when you consider how far away. What is it, 8,000 miles, 10,000 miles? How many <laughs> miles away are you from London? <laughs> it is a feat of glorious technology. You're not wrong about that. Uh, since we have you back, um, the book is a collection of your journal entries. Uh, is there anything about you in the book that you're a little, perhaps, I, I don't know, nervous about sharing with the world? Well, I know that a couple of people have uh, not felt too happy about what I've said. Uh, one particular member of the royal family, who shall be nameless, you'll just have to read the book, uh, was upset because I uh, referred to him as being very boring. But I did say that it was told to me by another uh, almost member of the royal family. So there are a lot of things in there that I just said at the time. And maybe when I said something in 2001 um, it's not the way that i feel in 2021 but it's there that's why it's called my unapologetic guys and i think and a lot of people have said this they have found it impossible to put down because uh, some of it's very very funny because i have quite a good sense of humor they had to have to play lexus but, yeah, exactly. Because you've, you've led such an amazing life. You've got stories in there about uh, Donald Trump, Rod Stewart, Shirley MacLaine, uh, Princess Diana, Princess Margaret, Roger Moore. That's an incredible yeah. lineup. Well, you know, I've been in this business since I was 17 years old. And so the first people that I worked with were stars already. I mean, maybe, you know, Celia Johnson, uh, Lawrence Harvey. Uh, Kenneth Moore. So all of these people are people that I worked with. I mean, I worked with Elizabeth Taylor, Shirley MacLaine and Debbie Reynolds. It was Elizabeth Taylor's last film. And unfortunately, she had quite a bit of trouble walking and um, she wanted, she insisted on being called Dame Elizabeth. She wanted to be called Dame Elizabeth and on the call sheet as well, which is not really what you're supposed to do if you have a title. You just use your actresses or actor's name. But, um, yeah, I, I was with Frank Sinatra at a dinner for Roger Moore when he wasn't too well either. And he was taken outside by David Niven, his son, um, at the end of the dinner. And he was just swarmed on by the paparazzi who wanted to take a picture of him well, to be kind, not looking his best, which is what the paparazzi wanted in those days. I think they still do. But, you know, um, it's not like I was dredging these names up. These were <laughs> people that I was in contact with and um, see all the time. I mean, like last night I was at a dinner and I was with uh, Rupert Everett and Richard E. Grant and Christopher Biggins, who are three of the biggest actors in England. And I think you know who they are in Australia, too. We most certainly do. Dame Joan Collins, what a magnificent life uh, you have put together for yourself and, uh, and, is, and which is reflected in this fantastic book. Uh, you, you also cover meeting your husband, who you've now been married to for, for 20 years, and you get the sense that you're, you're really opening up and giving of yourself in this book as well. Can you take us back to, to the time that, that you met him? Was it, was it love at first sight? Oh, no, no, no. It was friendship, almost friendship at first sight. I met him at a book signing in New York, and I was just about to go and do a play with, um, with George Hamilton called Love Letters in San Francisco, and Percy was going to be the production manager and the company manager. And so my PR said, come and meet these two young men, there's two of them, who are going to be working with you. So I went down, and there's, there's two very young men and I, one of them said, hello, I'm Max. I'm the stage manager. I said, oh, I said, you, you are very young. <laughs> and the other one said, well, I'm Percy. And he said, what about me? And I said, oh, you do. <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> we became very, very good friends. We oh, you'll do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the word now. You'll do. <laughs> oh, oh, well, look, this is, uh, th this is going to be absolutely fascinating. Um, it, it, you've had a wonderful life and we can't wait to read it. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Matt and Matt.
An our absolute pleasure. Uh, you are a wonderful character and it was great to chat. Dame Joan Collins' new book, My Unapologetic Diaries, is out now. Get